There are two key signals that every active trader looks for before entering a trade. The first is liquidity, which is basically the ease with which you can enter and exit positions. This is usually represented by a stock's volume. The second is volatility, which basically means the range a stock trades in relative to its normal range. For example, a stock that's stuck in a 1% trading range doesn't present too many trading opportunities, whereas a stock that has 10, 20, or 30% of range is definitely an interesting one to keep an eye on. Today, we're going to discuss four different ways you can find great momentum opportunities every single day using the Scans platform. We'll start with the easiest one, which is the Easy Scanner. Click on the Easy Scanner to load up the Easy Scanner window. The Easy Scanner provides you with a bird's eye view of the entire stock market. It's a super fast tool that allows you to filter through thousands of data points to get to the best trading opportunities out there. You can enter a few basic filters and the Easy Scanner will do the rest. So to set up the Easy Scanner to find the best momentum trades, start adding the filters that you'd like to see. We'll start with the markets. In this case, I'm going to leave all of them checked, but if you trade stocks on a particular market, you can add those filters. Stock types are the same. You can choose whichever ones you'd like, or you can leave them all selected, which I will do for now. Next, you can add filters, and this will help you narrow down the criteria for the specific stocks. So I'm going to add a couple of filters here to make sure I only see stocks I'm interested in. First of all, I've added criteria for percent change. I only want to see stocks that are trading above 5%. So if a stock's not up over 5% on the day, I don't want it to show up in the results. I will also add a filter for liquidity. And I will use the trades filter, but you could also use dollar volume or volume. So I'll put in at least 500 trades, and then I will start the filter. The list is updated, and I have it sorted by number of trades. Basically, I want to see what everyone else is trading. And a stock like INPX has over 200,000 trades and it's up over 180% on the day. This is definitely an interesting stock that I want to keep an eye on. I can continue to scroll through this. I see a lot of familiar names like AMD and GE, but then I see some new names that are up quite a bit. For example, SES is up over 68% and it has over 70,000 trades. These easy scan results tell me exactly where the action is in the stock market. And I can click on any of these tickers to find out exactly how the stock is trading. So if I click on INPX, I get INPX's chart as well as some additional data. And this is the intraday chart, and I can see that the stock made a run earlier in the day, it pulled back, and now it looks like it might be attempting another run. It's definitely a stock I want to add to my watch list. Now, this first Easy Scanner setting we used was designed to help us find stocks that are breaking out. The same thing can be applied for stocks that are breaking down. I could simply change this percent change to a maximum of negative 5% to find stocks that are trading below negative 5%. So notice FCEL is down almost 14% with over 200,000 trades. I can see NIO is down almost 8% with 130,000 trades. So if I'm a short seller, I can come in and build my watch list similar to the way we searched for breakouts, but now we're looking for stocks that are breaking down. You can continue to tweak the easy scanner settings to get them to match your style. For example, I could add filters for pricing if I only trade stocks in a certain price range, and I can add filters for market cap and if I was only trading stocks in a certain market cap range, such as small caps or micro caps. Next, let's navigate over to the Pro Scanner. The Pro Scanner is a more customizable version of the Easy Scanner, and the possibilities are really endless. This is one of the most advanced scanning tools on the market, but it's still incredibly easy to use. You just need to enter a few rules, and the scanner will show results that match those criteria. To get started, let's add a rule for volume. So we'll look for stocks that have daily trades of more than 1,000. You can adjust this based on your trading style. For example, large cap traders may want to increase this to over 20, 30, 40,000, whereas penny stock traders may have to limit this to two, three, or 400. From there, we can add a rule to find stocks that are highly volatile. So we can say price data percent change is greater than or equal to 20. 
From there, we can continue to add as many different rules as we'd like to match our trading style. So if you are interested in stocks that are profitable, you could add filters for revenue. If technical overlays and indicators play a role in your trading, you could add those as well. And then you can also do relative comparisons. For example, you could say today's volume is greater than or equal to the analytic of the average 20 day volume by let's say 5% or more. Now that we have some filters, we can run the scan and you'll get real time results for stocks that meet these criteria. And we're seeing some similar names from our easy scanner, but we're also seeing some new ones and we can go through this list, look at all of the different charts and choose which ones we'd like to add to our watch list. I see a ton of great opportunities here with a bunch of highly liquid stocks that are experiencing exceptional volatility. We have runners at 20%, 30%, 60%, and these are all stocks that I wanna look into further. The next way you can find momentum stocks to trade is by using the breakouts window. Click breakouts to load the breakouts window, and you'll see a streaming window of real-time trade alerts. These alerts come through on autopilot and can alert you to intraday price action that may interest you. So we'll start by selecting our markets, I'm happy to keep them all selected. I'll keep all the stock types selected and I'll start adding my filters. So first of all, I'm gonna add that similar filter I had before, 5%, because I want stocks that are volatile. I'm going to add another filter for number of trades and I'm gonna make this one about 2000 this time. You could continue to add other filters if you were interested, but I'm gonna start with these ones. So now the results will match those filters we just set and I can choose which type of alerts I'd like to see. I can choose from new highs, such as a new day high, and we're seeing quite a bit of these. We can set new 20 day highs, and then I also have new yearly highs selected. Similarly, I can add new lows, so I can set new daily lows, new 20 day lows, and new 52 week lows. I can also add price breakouts, which will show you when a stock breaks out above its moving average. So if I have 20 days selected, you will get an alert when the stock breaks above its 20 day simple moving average. I'm gonna add one for the 60 day average as well. And then I'll add one for the 10. We can also add volume breakouts that will alert us to abnormal volume. So I have 20 days selected, which means if the stock breaks above its 20 day average volume, the alert will show up here. I'll add one for the 10 day and the 60 day as well. So now the alerts are coming through in real time, the newest ones at the top, and I can start to analyze those opportunities intraday. Every time a stock hits a scanner, I might wanna take a look at that and see if there's an opportunity. You can also continue to tweak these settings to make them match your trading style. For example, we're getting a lot of alerts on new daily highs, and it may be harder to find some of the more interesting and actionable alerts with all these day high alerts. So if I turn that off, I will only get the alerts for some of the bigger moves. For example, a stock can hit a new day high multiple times in a single day, whereas some of these longer term highs are harder to reach. So I'll put five days and see if we can find stocks breaking those highs. You can continue tweaking these breakout filters to get this window to deliver the exact alerts you're looking for. And once you get these filters set up properly, you'll get served fresh trade ideas in real time every single day. Now I wanna show you one last way to find great momentum trades every single trading day. And we're gonna do that with the news scanner. Up until now, all of the scans we've created have been for technical moves. We've been looking for stocks with abnormal volume and volatility. There's one other thing we can look for, which is news. Now, oftentimes this news is reflected in the volume and volatility, but sometimes having a look at the news itself can allude to the magnitude of the move. So let's get started real quick. We'll select all of the markets, all the stock types, and I'll leave just news on for now. However, you can include SEC filings and promos as well. Now I wanna find stocks that are up over 20% on the day and have over 5,000 trades. This shows me that there's interest. We can see that from the number of trades and that the stock is volatile. And the reason we're looking for volatility, of course, is to show the significance of the news. When I click filter now, I can see a couple of stocks that show up. I'm going to add some columns for the percent change, drag that over here, and I'll add my column for the number of trades as well. 
now I have the data I searched for with my filters, and I can have a look at these stories. So if I sort by number of trades, I can see this article right here. And if I show this little window right here, I can see the actual article and see this company announced a licensing agreement. And I can read through this and see how significant it is. The stock's up 86%, so the market obviously found it to be of some significance. Now, after reading this news story, I can decide if this move was justified or if this may be a good short candidate in the coming days. And I can continue to look through this story, see if maybe this might be a multi-day runner, or maybe the deal is overhyped and the stock's gonna come back down. And this last article we found is about a stock that regained compliance with NASDAQ, so it maintains that listing, and we'll see if that's newsworthy. Once again, for all of these different ways you can find momentum stocks, it starts with discovery, and the next step, of course, is loading up the charts, looking at the opportunities and seeing what's actually there. So those are four very easy ways you can find the hottest momentum stocks every single day. You can continue to play around with them, change your own settings. And of course, if you have any questions, you can reach out to our team. Thank you and stay tuned for more videos.